So here is the completed card. I think she turned out so cute. I love the background. It looks so dreamy. And then the little butterfly. I made sure I added some yellow to bring in the yellow from the flowers. And I used the sentiment, You Make My Heart Flutter. That is by MFT. And I will share all the supplies I used. I added some sequins and I added some sequins on this one as well. And I did I Adore You on this one. Just some faux paint splatters done with a little marker. So I really enjoyed playing with these stamps so much. So I used this one, Miss Anya Samoyed from The Greeting Farm. And I had so much fun playing with this. Um, so the first one that I did, I sent off to a friend. She had me color that. And thank you. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, you got me into playing with the stamp set. And now I have to play with the other onions because I love it. Um, I also enjoyed playing with the CC Designs background stamps. This is the oak tree that I used. Love it. I just really love how it looks. And they have different ones. So they have a pine tree. They have this maple background with the pretty flowers and the little butterfly and dragonfly. Charlie's going nuts over there. And um, this would look really cute as well. There's the, this one's called pine and this one's called evergreen. Sorry about that. So these little stamps and then this little flower border and then, yeah, I showed that one already. And they do have this large one in the clear with all the different trees, but the trees are a lot smaller. So these would go great if you have the smaller images, the little critters and stuff like that. Um, just really, really easy to create your background. Like if you're afraid to draw, you know, the backgrounds, these stamps are perfect. Um, there's a lot of like background stamps on the market that are great to um, get this look. I'm taking a class by My Creative Scoop and I'm taking the background class. It's called the Holiday Background Class and it's all freehand. So this was all freehand. Um, with the Copic markers. So I've done one out of four of the, four of the courses um, and this was my first one and I really, really do love it. So you can, you know, add a little image or sentiment. So that's really fun as well. But if you're scared to just freehand, these background stamps are awesome. I used the new CC Designs Hybrid Ink and this one is in black olive. Um, I do have the large size in stock as well and I am really loving this black ink it it really gave good coverage on the stamp and a nice clean impression and I didn't have any smearing I did wait like not even a minute after um, I stamped it to color um, it works pretty similar to this and I really love this. This I use for sentiments. Um, you can't color with Copics with this. But this, I would say, is very comparable to this. So if you do spend $60 and you want to try this, um, let me know in the comments box and I will send you the little cube. I do have maybe five left. No, I have four, four left. I have four left. Um, it's up for sale and then whatever's left I have. So if anybody wants to grab that with your free with 60, um, just leave it in the comments box. Otherwise, I do have the sugar cookie, which is for no line coloring. And I have the hybrid ink um, embossing cube. So those are options as well. Um, if you didn't want the stamp that will pop into your cart, because I do have a full size stamp that will pop into your cart um, once your order qualifies. So if you didn't want that and you wanted the ink cube instead, um, just let me know. And I also used the My Favorite Things 
You Give Me Butterfly Sentiments, which is one of my favorite stamp sets. I just love the font on it, and I love the sayings on all on everything that's here. I mean, it's just really, really easy to use any of these sentiments. And I do still have some of these available left in the shop. I believe this is a retired set, um, but I do have some left. So I'll have everything linked below. And yeah, thanks for um, stopping by, guys. Tell me which one was your favorite. The first one with the little Samoyed dog, um, the second one, or the third one. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and thanks for commenting, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.
So here is the card, how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. I just love her. And I love using this tree stamp. I might have to break out one of the other ones. There's other designs um, that would look so cute as a background. I used the MFT You Give Me Butterfly stamp set. I still have this in the shop. Um, I'll have it listed down below if you're interested. I just love the font on there and it's got all kinds of sentiments um, for like any occasion really. And I love how this one turned out um, with a lot of white space. I didn't color in the grass below on this one or I didn't color in the sky. I think it looks really cute and fresh like this. The next one I'm going to do, I'm going to color in the whole background. So stay tuned for that one. I am loving CC Design's new hybrid ink. It is really, really dark and I love how I love the coverage of this ink. It's almost like the Versafine Claire ink that you use for sentiments. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to um, let that dry for a little bit and I'm going to clean off my stamp. and create a little mask for her so I could stamp my tree background. I'm almost out of masking paper. Let's see if I could get her on here so I could fit her on there. So I'm just gonna use my Memento ink for that because I don't needed this to be a very good impression. I just need the outline so I could cut her out. Okay, I'm just going to add my mask. Now position my background stamp where I want it. I want to leave room for my sentiment down here in the corner. So let's make sure I have enough room. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to add some butterflies. I'm going to take out my foam. When you use a rubber stamp with foam mounting, you remove this foam sh uh, backer here. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I pull off my mask. I don't want to smear any anything. <laughs> I'm going to look for some butterflies in my stash. So I am going to use the butterfly from our Woodland Buddies stamp set. So I've got my masks on. I'm going to use this as a mask for the bottom here and I'm going to do some ink blending for my grass. Okay, 
I'm going to start with my Twisted Citron. So I'm just going to have the lighter color uh, towards the top. And I'm just going to blend the two colors together. Okay, so now I'm going to do the sky. So I'm going to add my mask for the tree. I'll just maybe flip this over. We'll see how that works. And let's get my mask on there. Oh, I was going to cut this out as my mask. Okay, I'm going to have to be really careful with my mask since I don't have adhesive down. Which you would like, the ideal thing to do is get some repositional adhesive when you're creating your masks. So I'm going to start with the pink at the bottom. Okay, let's pick up some purple. And now my blue color. So that was shaded lilac and now we're gonna do salty ocean. So I'm going to get my smaller brushes to get in those corners there. Okay, let's pull off the mask and then we could get to the coloring. So I'm just going to find a similar Copic color to get inside between her hair and her body which is supposed to be the sky. So this B05 is pretty close to that pink color and I'm just going to use that to color the inside. And that is a pretty perfect match. You can um, hide any of your mistakes. Like if you didn't make your mask perfect enough, just take your Copic marker and fix those white spaces.
so I can find a blue and kind of fix that spot there. And I'll just test it out on the side of the paper to see if it matches pretty good. I think this B28 will be a pretty good match. It's a little dark. Okay, now I can start coloring in the image. I'll be back when I'm done with the coloring since I did some similar coloring in the earlier footage. Okay, I'm done with the coloring. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment with the Versifying Claire. And I really don't need to do it twice, but since it's on the Distress Oxide inks, I want to make sure that the sentiment is really, really bold. So there, that looks perfect. I love it. These stamps were so much fun to play with. So I'm going to just mat this onto my card base, and then we should call it done. 